Hello guys and welcome back. So today what I have for you is I have a tier 10 stronghold, it is of seal versus omni and as you can see it's an arctic region. So immediately what you can see from the lineups is that both teams have, well the same amount of heavies really. Um, omni have full 113s here but we have the 260s, also an IS-7 and 113 ourselves. Both teams also have an STRV-103, which is actually really, really useful in Strongholds at the moment. Um, you can use it to really hold off positions. Um, it can really prevent pushes down like the one line on Prokhorovka if you back it up properly, because it can't be overmatched by medium shooting it from the front. Uh, and it's a really nice tank to use. One difference between the teams, though, is that they have RT and we don't, which means we do have an extra medium to rotate with. Now what you can see us doing at the start of this game is you can see that we're playing really really aggressively over to this area here. Um, we've got the STRV in the back sniping, uh, sniping this guy if he peeks. Um, maybe if there's anything up here he can move over to here in a position to shoot it. Um, and also the heavies are going to push across with the mediums to try and take this area aggressively. Just in case Omni are going to this corner. Now you can see that we've also got this badge out in the bush which is really really important because he can spot if the guy's peeking up here, here, I believe he can spot a cross over here, I'm not completely sure um, exactly where that guy can spot but it is very nice to have a badge out there because you can spot quite a lot and it's slightly less risky in a way than putting a tank here that can be spotted and well killed. This guy here, as long as he knows how to use the bush properly, is unlikely to get killed. Also, we've got this back chat going really aggressive. He's just going to do this little climb up here. And all he's going to try and do is spot to see if there's any tanks pushing down the two line aggressively. This will mean that with a few mediums here and some heavies here, they won't really be able to push that corner effectively. Um, in my YU uh, advance video that I put on Friday, um, I show how how we held this area um, when when you have heavies and mediums using the hold downs here, a couple of guys back here, and also this area here. Although what you can see now is I'm going back to base. The reason why I'm going back to base is because well they're not pushing here, and that means that they must have had something over here. And as you can see, the 113 has been spotted. We spotted one 113, and the main thing that you can sort of presume in strongholds is that there isn't just going to be that one 113 there's going to be multiple 113s. Um, if you're going to split your tanks between the heavies then something's going wrong really. The mediums however probably won't be directly with the 113s. They could be just in an area that can support them if the 113s get pushed. This means that directly pushing the 113 is a little bit risky but we're pulling back our forces just in case the enemy team try and push our base. We've got areas like this which provide a nice hold down position um, to get a crossfire if the enemy team push through the middle here. Also, we've got the STRV up on the boost back here, which is also really nice because it means that he gets shots down onto the top of the turrets here, and while these guys maybe hold down to the guys sitting here, they won't be to the STRV up here. But as you can see, the 113s have pulled back. We've got an aggressive 907 spotting, and it means that we can see if the enemy 113s want to push through here, um, and also he must have got the spots here in the first place to know that they've pulled back. This means that we're going to relocate over to this area. Pushing down here is not a preferable way to push, especially when they've got the STRV up here. If they have any tanks to create a crossfire, tanks here, tanks here, or even a tank here, um, it can be very, very difficult to push. However, sometimes you just won't get an option. But at the moment, we're still driving around just looking for options on where the weakest point is to push. We've got kind of the, we haven't got RT, which basically means we can't we can't work on RT. We have to find a place to push, and not allow them to use their RT too much. So I'm just going to go up here, just to try and get a couple of free shots on any tanks that I can, who can get shots at really. Um, I managed to put one in. You see, I don't really move because I'm pretty hold down here, and I'm not even sure whether I got. Well, I guess I got spotted for that to be honest. But um, I can just sit here and. Buy these shots, hope they pen. They might not, but I've managed to get 600 free damage out of it. So what you can see here is that these two guys are taking the boost. This means that they have shots uh, much further over the map. They also have the high ground. But this 907 that's just been spotted here is probably the most important spot we've made all game. 
the reason why this spot's so important, and oh, none of my shots actually hit him, but the reason why this spot is so important is because it now means that we can't push this area. Pushing this area is absolute suicide, to be honest. Because the enemy team, if they have tanks up here and you push through here, then all that's going to happen is you're in a complete crossfire from this area and also this area. And with an STRV here and a 907 here, they're not easy tanks to dig out. We haven't got RT to bomb this guy and keep him down and stop him peeking. And this means that we're going to pull all our mediums back here. As I said, pushing the side isn't isn't the best place to push. As a preference, you, you want to push this area. But with this tank here, it's better to push this side. We don't want to sit around and wait for a draw. Um, the enemy team have RT, they can work on it. But to be honest, whether they are actually going to push at the end of the day, I don't know. Um, but to be honest, it's better to at least try and win um, than just settle for the draw. Even if even if you lose trying to win in these situations, it's probably not like sort of the worst thing you could do because then you can find out when you push what goes wrong and then you can work on it for next time. So as you can see, Banter is actually pinging this corner here where the Batcha is. And what he was saying at this point is the importance of killing this Batcha. Um, if we allow them to have this area while we're killing all these tanks, it probably won't go too well. As you can see, we're going immediately aggressively here. This batch is luckily on one shot, which means it's not much of a problem if we can get close to him. But if we push through here and he gets a full clip out on our side, it's not really going to be very beneficial for us. You can see we go super aggressive. We can out DPM these 113s. We've definitely got more tanks here. Um, we were a bit worried about being sniped from up here by the STRV, but the STRV can't actually shoot us. But you can see I've just taken a shot from a medium. Now taking the shot from a medium isn't really a problem here. Um, and it's actually not so bad because we're slightly held down to the mediums, which means they don't get easy shots. What this has meant is we've been able to actually kill the 113s fairly free, to be honest. I mean, we've lost a tank here, we've lost a little bit of hit points, but actually we killed those 113s really effectively. And you can see that at the same time, these tanks were pushing in through the side. These tanks will now be able to push up this ramp, and it means that they get a bit of a crossfire in this area. If Omni turn to go fight these guys, then it gives the mediums the chance to push in. But from this point, it's already over. Um, we certainly have the advantage. 8-2, um, we're not really going to lose it here. And I'm just trying to find the gun depression on this guy. I was, that was so bad. Um, but now I just get a bit of a free farm on the back of these tanks here. And as I said, the game's over. Um, we, we're not really going to lose anymore. We've, we've got all the high ground. Uh, we're basically up here shooting down on their mediums. They've got a STRV up here on one shot, but it doesn't really matter. And you can see Bot, he's in SEAL. Um, there wasn't a space in our stronghold, so he went to go join uh, Omni Stronghold. Um, he didn't He didn't tell us what they were doing or anything. Um, there, there's no point doing that, even if we could have found out like um, what they were playing. We spotted it all for ourselves anyway. So even if we did ask him for what they were doing, we wouldn't really need to know, and we didn't bother asking. Um, so basically we said at the end, leave Bot alive, and we're only going to kill him by ramming. Um, but unfortunately he's going to go drown himself, but I think we lose a few tanks in the process while trying to, trying to catch him. But yeah, I thought this was a really good, really good game on showing how Arctic region can be played and how important rotations are on Arctic region. So if I go into free cam here, um, okay, that explains why it doesn't work. If I go into free cam here, oh, there, here we go, okay, nice. Um, <laughs> what you can see at the start of the game is that what we did was we pushed this area really aggressively. Now the reason why we pushed this area really aggressively is because if you, if the enemy team play this side, you've got to take this corner. You cannot allow the enemies to get close and start taking these areas because otherwise it just won't go very well. Um, once they start to push you back then it's really really difficult to play um, this map. You can counter rotate through the south but it's difficult to get your heavies out once they've got like firm pressure on this area. This is why this area was so important for us to take. Um, you can see that this area is super important because if the enemy team did come to this side, it would stop the push. And if they did decide to push, they'd be in a crossfire with the mediums here and the heavies here as they push through this middle road. 
Also, it means that they can't pick on these heavies because these guys will just shoot them in the side if they try. And that's why we went so aggressive on that side to begin. Uh, we'll get there in about the same time as them. Um, and we actually can get tanks here relatively for free. And it just is the reason why we played that side so quickly. Then what you saw is we went pretty much backwards and forwards between like the two areas. We went over to this side and then we went back. And the reason why we did this is because we were just trying to find an area in which we could push. We didn't just want to randomly push and hope. Um, we had to actually spot what was going on. And that's why this spot over on this guy over here was really, really important. Once we spotted this guy here, we knew that we couldn't push down here anymore. And it gave us the option of pushing through down the south of the map. Which is kind of a tricky place to push because often you get tanks like their 113s were sitting in this position ready to shoot you should come around the corner. They also had a tank here which would have actually been really really effective if they had had like a Russian medium there that could stay properly hold down to us but I think he got killed while trying to clip out and that was sort of a real problem for them. It stopped them having the real crossfire as we pushed into this area and also they didn't really have much many well many tanks really protecting that corner because their tanks were sitting up here and here ready for the push through this area. And that's because we actually left our heavies here. They still knew that the heavies were there, and that meant that they thought that actually we'd probably push, you know, down here or through here, which we did eventually, but only once the mediums had basically killed their 113s. If we just pushed simply down here, the 113s would have moved into our sides, the mediums would have got here, and these guys would have died immediately. Um, uh, especially if we'd sent our mediums with them. It just wouldn't have worked. And that's why pushing the south was so important. So hopefully um, this replay was good and you did enjoy it. I tried to go in a little bit more detail with the tactic here um, with Hasplay Arctic Region. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And yes, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.